There's a new pest in town. It's the Japanese beetle. And I'm with Jessica from the Department of Agriculture, who's going to really educate us more about this pest. So tell us a little bit about this Japanese beetle. Where are you finding it? So right now, the main infestation is in the Bethany Cedar Mill area, about 3,000 acres. And so why should we be concerned about this? Oh, there's many reasons to be concerned about the Japanese beetle. Uh, the three main areas that we're concerned about are agricultural sector, our natural resources, and private, private property, such as parks uh, individual re and individual residences. And so we're out here in the Bethany area, and so we're in a park, and behind us is a community garden, and so we see one of your traps here. So tell us about why we would maybe see these traps. Yeah, so these traps are how we, how we find where the Japanese beetle is, and it's a green funnel trap. It uses two um, lures. This is a floral lure, so it smells like roses, and rose bushes are one of the main preferred hosts of the Japanese beetle so both male and females are highly attracted to it. This little orange insert is a pheromone lure so it smells like female beetles so male beetles are highly attracted to this. So if there's any Japanese beetle in the area they'll be highly attracted to this trap. They'll fly, hit the trap and fall down and they're kind of clumsy so they're not able to fly or crawl out of it and our trappers throughout the season will come and look inside this trap to see if there's beetles. And so you can kind of like track where they are. Yes, yes. So then how do they affect our plants? Yeah, so the Japanese beetle, they are not picky eaters. Mm -hmm. They eat over 300 different plant species. Pretty much everything we like, our grass, turf, ornamental plants, our agricultural crops, and so they, they negatively impact plants two ways. When they're in larval form, they're under the ground eating the roots of plants and causing them to either yellow or die back. And as adults, they skeletonize leaves of plants. So that what that means is they eat all the nice fleshy bits of the plant and the leaf. And again, that causes severe damage to our personal plants and our agricultural crops. Uh, and so this is June, and so would we be seeing them now in our garden? Could we, could we see them? So right now they're almost getting ready to emerge. The last two years they emerged right around June 17th and 18th. So we again expect them to be emerging out of the ground as adults mid-June. So that's when you might start seeing them on your plants. Uh, and so then what can we do as gardeners and we notice them? Is there something that we can help with? Yeah, definitely. Um, if you're in the treatment area, you can kill them. <laughs> you can squash them. Um, you can put them in soapy water. And that's if you're in the treatment area because we know that there's Japanese beetles in that area. If you're outside the treatment area, it's essential to let the Oregon Department of Agriculture know that you found the Japanese beetle because we want to know if they're spreading outside where we know they are because it's essential for us to treat those areas to not allow them to keep spreading. So Jessica, what is the hope for the future? So we have had success, some success in reducing the Japanese beetle population. Between 2017 and 2018, we reduced the population by roughly 34%. Wow. And that was a direct result from our treatment. Um, so that is in the right direction. However, it's still going to be an uphill battle. We're not, definitely not out of the woods yet. Um, we found over 17,000 beetles last year and that's that's a huge amount even with that reduction. So we really depend on this community here in the Bethany Cedar Mill area. Their outpouring of support has been incredible and we need to continue that momentum and support for this program to help us eradicate this horrible invasive insect. Uh, so we can go to a website and get all that information, help with that, and we're gonna have that on the Garden Time website. You can get that. There's gonna be an email that you can contact. And really, we need lots of researchers all around the area oh, to yes. help. And we can really help you guys with your job. Yeah, the more eyes out there and contacting us, the better. And that website is japanesebeetlepdx.info. And so we'll have that on the screen. We'll also have it on our website so you can get all that information and really help out. Well, thanks so much. Thanks for all you yeah, do. Yeah, thank you. Keep, keep your eyes open out there. <laughs>